Hi, welcome to my recap. Session one. I'm doing from session one to session four. That is what I'm doing. I'm just recapping all of that because I haven't done that yet. Basically, what happened is in session one, we basically got some training out of the way. Um, and we started battling, you know, rats and all of these other shits basically to get some credentials um, and do something. I don't really know. Uh, that was the uh, session of the training wheels being on. We had to be on the railroad for it. In other words, our decisions wouldn't really alter the path much in that episode. Um, but anyways, um, we had an instructor. He would take us to these little monsters and we would beat them up and we did great. And then he was like, alright, now you guys have to fight me. Um, and what we didn't know was that he also had a whistle that would bring out these wolves. And we had a kinku with us. Kinkus, if you don't know, are able to mimic sounds that they've heard before. And he instantly was able to, you know, after the guy blew the whistle, the wolves came out, the kinku made the imitation of the whistle, and they all went back in, which is wonderful. And then eventually, um, the one person after another basically was getting, was, uh, like, one person would get damaged, another one would miss. Um, then he brought out the wolves again. Someone else decided, I'm going to imitate him imitating the thing. Our, he was imitating our kinku who was imitating the original bell, the whistle. But, um, he did really good and was able to bring them back in again. And, you know, the, um, the guy that brought the, them out, um, yeah, he did that on his turn. But, uh, then it was my turn. And then I... I got one nice hit in the stomach, and while he was distracted, I went for a dick punch. Uh, he was in a lot of pain. And, um, for the first time in my character's life, I was intimidating, and I was like, Hey, there's more where that fucking comes from. Uh, and apparently that was enough to make him go, Okay, I yield, I yield. <laughs> Y'all are like... Y'all are too much. <laughs> and then eventually we go back to his mansion, which is where we fought some rats. Um, and we're hanging out. We're having a nice time. And then the place explodes. Everyone else besides me and one other person are unconscious. Um, and someone comes in, takes the bell. Not the bell, the whistle. Anytime I say bell, just assume I mean whistle. They take the bell, uh, and, uh, some other shit, and then they grab him by the throat and do, like, a Thanos snap. And turn to dust. Um, and then he leaves. The other person was able to get up before me, and ran after him, trying to go get and get them. Um, and started asking them, hey, why did you do that? What's up? And basically said that we weren't worth killing. How dare he? Someone should kill- no, I'm joking. Um... But anyways, uh, me be finally like being able to get up, I was able to go grab one person, start dragging, and then eventually put him on my shoulder and carry him out. And then after that, I ran over and within 15 seconds, ran and grabbed our other party member and carried him out. That was 15 seconds in total. And then eventually went to go look for help. And then, of course, there's two royal guards that are running towards us and we're like, hell yeah, help. And I started saying, hey, I need your help. My friends are down. And they started arresting me. Anyways, um, I'm screaming and be like, go help them. Uh, and eventually they do after they, you know, shackle me up. But they arrest, uh, after healing them, they arrest them too. Um, and we all get brought to prison, including our friend who starts running back. And apparently there's also this one other person who happened to be walking by there that also got arrested we don't notice him until later and by the way this is now session two session two uh we come into the jarl's room after being you know in jail for the night uh there's five of us now and we talk to the jarl the jarl the jarl's like bitch that was my friend what's up and i was like hey that that we didn't do that we got very injured like, if you just look at us, you can see that. Um, and he did not believe me. At all. I don't do good at... I don't do good at rolling. Only in combat do I do good at rolling. But, someone else decided to cut in and go, Sir, 
she's right. Like that, this is what happened. And he, they actually rolled good to like convey that. <laughs> they actually did good, which was great. So then we were free to go. We all went out to, we were all free to go. Um, you know, because we're good at convincing people. And the guards affirmed that we were trying to get help. We went after trying to get help. Um, and they were like, hey, you guys can go, but if you do us a favor, you can get some money. And basically, we are now on a quest to go deliver a message to the king to talk about all that. Uh, we each got 200 gold each. And then we went out to go, uh, well, three of us went out to go drink. Uh, we brought a guard with us because for some reason someone was like, hey, guard, you want to come? I hate that they did that. I hate people. I hate police. Anyways, uh, then the kinku decided, hey, I'm going to go get um, some weapons. And someone else was able to tell that he was going to go get weapons. It's like, hey, go buy me shit too. Which he did. But, um, yeah, that's that's fun. Just listening to the kinku who, you know, they can't speak themselves. They can only imitate sounds that they've heard before. And just hearing them struggle to try to be like, hey, here's a sword. I need one of these. But try to be like, give? I, I need... <laughs> I want. <laughs> so that was fun listening to that. And then um, during the same time, someone else, the other person who didn't go to the bar with us, uh, went out and bought a horse and a wagon, which was nice. Now we were able to get places faster. Um, and yeah, that's all set up. And then uh, back at the bar, as they're driving, we are drinking. Uh, I failed to make a whole bunch of people. Like, I failed, at, you know, at noon to make a drinking contest because I was too intimidating for the second time in my life. Second and the last time in my goddamn life. <laughs> um, which was fun. Uh, they, they didn't like it. They're, they were too scared. Um, I was able to down two of the most strongest drinks in the place, and I was just a little tipsy. Um, the other guys were hanging out, eating food, just, you know, doing normal people stuff. Yeah, normies. Anyways, um, the guard that went with us was also drinking one, and he drank one, and he drank it slowly. And when he finished, I went, nice. And that made him go, hey, I'm gonna go try to drink with them. And uh, then we had a little, like one last drink together. And um, as soon as the alcohol touched my lips, I passed out. But as I was passing out, I just said, hell yeah. Because I got a nat 20 on performance. <laughs> I basically was vomiting and passing out and saying, hell yeah. Fucking wonderful. Anyways. Um... We get a room and we have to stay there, you know, at fucking noon until but about like night. And then we eventually start leaving. But around that time, uh, the party member that, you know, is new and was just a bystander originally uh, decided, hey, I'm going to go steal. Completely failed at that. Well, not completely. They completely succeeded at it in the first half, but failed in the second half. They knew that they would have been caught if they would have shoved their hand in there and started taking stuff. Um, they were able to open up the safe. It's just they would have been caught if they started taking anything. So they quickly closed it, ran over to the side, and this part was fine. But then he tried to just play it off like, hey, I'm just a late shopper. I'm just taking a while. And she instantly was like, sus. Um, he rolled very bad. And guards came in, and he basically started fighting. He took two little potions, threw them at him. One was a um, potion of healing. Yeah, that uh, healed four damage, but the glass breaking dealt eight damage. <laughs> but um, basically, he started running, and you know him being rogue, he eventually was able to hide. And then um, the guards were like, "All right, we're giving that up. We'll put up posters, and we'll start searching." Um, he started trying to leave the city, which the guards were like, you know, they started seeing him, but he cartwheeled right past them. Just doing a cartwheel right past, doesn't matter. They just kept going. And eventually we're able to make it to the seafront, you know, leaving, going out to the ocean. And, um, they boarded a boat 
But before they could get out, one of the guards noticed them. Basically grabbed him by the collar. It's like, you're coming with me. And he got arrested. Session three. Uh, we basically go to the place. And um, I'm the only one that decides to talk to the guy. Uh, they brought the our, our ex-party member back to the city. And put him in the jail cell. And I went with a couple of friends to go visit him. We all went to go visit him. But, unfortunately, uh, no one else decided to do anything. But I just basically was like, why the fuck did you do it? And he was like, I'm bored. I was like, uh. But anyways, we were able to talk with him for a little bit. The guards tried to give us all of his money that he had on him. You know, the 200 gold. Yeah, but all of us were morally fine in that moment. Uh, we None of us took it and we were like, hey, guards, you guys can split it between you two. Whatever. And we went off. And we started our journey. Um... Which, on this journey, we finally get to be on our first encounter. We made it. First encounter. There's bandits. They're trying to steal from us. And you know what they fucking did? As we started, like, rolling along, all of a sudden there's an arrow in my goddamn thigh. And I'm just like, fucking bitch. And I run at him. Try to hit him in the chest. Basically hurts my hand really badly. And then I, in revenge, I quickly kick him in the dick. And it kills them. Who knew? Kick people in their dick and they die. Um, and I did that for someone else, killed them, and then I chased after this one other guy, uh, knocked him out with unlethal, unlethal damage, and was able to bring him back. The other guys, they killed one of them, scared another one to the point where they started running away, and the last two just surrendered. They were like, nope, can't do it, I'm France. Anyways, they were able to do that. And we basically were like, hey, or well, I took a rope. I tied them all up together. And our one party member decided, hey, I'm going to question them about this one thing. I just wanted to ask one question. I got to ask the question, like, why did you do it? And they're just like, there's nothing else to do. But um, anyways, they started being like, hey, where's your camp? What's all this shit? And they lied their ass off to him. So I was like, hey, you want to tell them the truth? Because I, I was able to tell that they were bullshitting. Um, and because I can't intimidate for jack shit, uh, I had to stab him in the gut and go, you want to tell me now? And they were still like, ugh, I'm not scared of you. And then my friend, our teammate, was able to heal him. And then I went for the throat. They still didn't die. Our friend healed him. And they were been, they basically went from max health to one health. Max health, one health. Max health, one health. <laughs> Back and forth. Um, shut up, phone. And basically, eventually, we got the information out of them. And they were like, hey, there's a camp. Or no, they said, hey, it's actually in the West. And I could tell that they were telling the truth that time. And I also knew that they were also had an actual camp and not just a couple wagons. But, um, I don't know why, but we decided to go that way. Session four. We decided to go in there. We're hanging out. Um, I was not there at the beginning. But basically, they all made it to the camp, the bandit camp. And, um, for some reason, everyone wanted to go inside. I don't know why. Um, and they saw us. I wasn't able to be there for, you know, trying to, like, see it before they see us. Um, and we just, they were like, hey, what are you doing here? And we're like, uh, yes. And they worked. Um, and as we have three other friends in our backseat, I went made, I went back there, knocked them out, put a tarp over them and made sure that they won't be seen. Um, cause you know, that's their friends. Um, and then eventually, and then we started going inside because I don't know. For some reason, we all wanted to go inside. As we got inside, uh, my mentor was like, Hey, Corora! And started trying to call it to me. And, you know, I got angry. And then fight started between the captain, his dog, and us. Um, eventually, this one third guy, or the new... The, that one guy who lost his first character? Yeah, he was also a prisoner there. Um, and he started fighting, too. But, 
um, I almost died. And uh, before, before I almost died, they uh, the dog that that he had, which is actually a wolf, I just like to say dog, uh, got very much injured and um, was like, you know, on the brink. And while I was unconscious after, you know, almost dying, um, they, uh, the dog was basically what, like passed away, but one of our friends quickly like was like time out and ran over there. Uh, and healed them just before they died. And they actually got to live. And the guy, out of, like, you know, us saving his dog, was, like, just gave up and was just there trying to, like, you know, calm it. And, um, I went to go get my mentor after I woke up. And was just, like, you know, realized, hey, he's, like, sad about this. And decided to be respectful. Got my mentor. Went over there. Our other guy... The new guy um, was able to roll a 20 on stealth and just knock in there and hide. Um, and he basically, um, at one point, a guard looked over, saw him, and didn't give enough of a care. But he did disguise. And he basically looked like um, Joseph Joestar. You know, when he was dressed like a lady. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's finish this up. We get the dog. The dog decided, hey, you saved my life. I want to go with him. Um, and the guy, the captain that was the leader, basically was like, hey, this dog like just does what he wants. Eventually, he'll leave you. But, like, let him travel with you. And he, came, went, he went and traveled with us. And we left from there. And that, that was where we left. Session four. And you have session five. That is the end. My throat hurts. Have a good god fucking fuck fuck day. <laughs>